Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 118. We're still playing with the speedometer today, and what I want to do is, you see I've kind of inserted some rows up here. I want to replicate what we've done down here, kind of step by step, and show you how to create a speedometer that does what we did last time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, we'll cheat for a minute, and copy and paste those labels up there to get us to start. And now I want to show you a trick that may be helpful when you're looking at a spreadsheet that isn't yours, you can't remember some of the formulas. There are a couple formulas in here we've got to walk through. If you hold down the control key and hit the tilde, let me show you what that looks like. See all of a sudden now I'm looking at the formulas instead of the data. The key that I'm hitting is I'm doing control and this on your keyboard. So when I do control this, there's the formulas and control and tilde is what it's called and it will uh, get rid of those formulas so you can see. Let me show you what I'm looking for. These are these are input numbers so I'm going to put 45 there and 90 there. What this number is is it takes 180 less these two cells because what we want to do less this one less this one is make sure that the total of these three cells adds up to 180 and then we're going to put 180 down here to make up the 360 degrees in our donut circle that we're going to use for our chart in a few minutes. This part's easy. We'll just do low, medium, and high again. The way I got this 45% share is you'll see I've got equals the percentage, E12 is where the percentage number is, and then and, and then I can do a percentage share. So let's now yeah, let's cheat and copy percentage up there. Let's make the percentage um, 45 just like it is down below just to make life easy. And then what this is, is it's going to be equals this cell, the and sign to put it together with something in quotes. We'll put a space and we'll do share again just for one of a better term. We can change that to 40. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put a percent in there too just to make it the same. How's that? Now that looks the same and I've got a 45% share there. Now what this inner one is, look at what this form is doing. Is It's taking 180 divided by 100% times the percentage. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get this inner pie circle. What I want to know is from this needle to the left, I want to know how of this 180 degrees that's in this inner pie, how far over do I go before I start the needle? And what this is saying is, let's copy it and paste it up here and then, and then we'll see if we can make it work. We're going to take 180 degrees divided by 100% times the 45%. And what we're doing is we're converting that 45% into a number between 0 and 180 and that turns out to be 80 and that's how we create this piece of the pie that's right here to the left of our needle. Now our needle is going to be 4 again and I'm going to cheat and just copy that up there and then if you look here this is the same idea we had over here. We're going to do equals 180 less this less that. Now what is that? That is the slice of the pie from the right side of the needle all the way over to 180 degrees. It's this area in here in the chart. And then the 180 down here is simply the other half of the pie of our 360 degrees. It's this lower half of the pie that doesn't show up on the screen because we're, we're going to clear that all out and hide that when we get further along. Last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make those yellow that yellow and that yellow. So now it's going to be obvious when I go back, you know, months from now or whatever. You know what? I want to put a space in there just a second. I like that better. Now it looks like that below. Months from now, when I come back and say, boy, how do I customize this? How do I update it? Where are my form is? What do I want to change? I can change the percentage, the size of the needle, or what these the size of low and medium are. And then high is just going to be the difference. Whatever's not low and medium is going to be high. That's what I want to do to put this together. And I still got, you know, I don't think I want that space there. There, now it looks just the same. No space there and a space there. Let me just show you that for me one more time. That's how I'm putting this cell and some text into the same cell. And you'll see down below, let me just scroll down, I can put that down here as part of my chart later on. That's what I wanted to get through this time. 
we're going to start building the chart now that we've got the data ready in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching.